Hey guys, this is Phoenix Knight with South Austin Music. Here I'm going to talk about one of my favorite uh, new pedals coming out. You guys might have heard of the Freeze by Electric Harmonics, but now they have released an even smaller and even a lot more options and the Deep Freeze by Electric Harmonics, which you see down by my foot. Um, anyways, let's go over it. Let's talk about a couple cool things that it has. Um, for example, one of my favorites is the momentary setting, which you probably saw me play through real quick. Uh, what I like about it is that you can hold notes, you can arpeggiate them. Basically, it is a great way to drone more than just one note, and that's, I know, what holds me back a lot of my playing. So, piano players, watch out, we're coming for you guys. Um, now, if you don't want to have your foot on it the whole time when you're doing a chord, there is also latch, so you can operate it uh, just fine too, or especially if you're doing any of the really long droning of chords, uh, especially for all your droner rock heads out there. Uh, but one of the other cool features that are not offered on the freeze, the initial one beforehand, there's uh, the auto uh, auto freeze on it. Right there, it will basically read the chords that you're using, and on its own, will uh, let let it all sustain, all all the cool space stuff. So I'll let you check it out and have some fun hearing it and whatnot too. Um, this thing is basically two pedals in one, so uh, there's a lot of options. As you are big fans of the Super Ego by Electro Harmonics, uh, but in general, a really big fan of the space noises that they have. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's make some noise. Uh, but before we do, as you can see, there's a dry and effect volume. So you can kind of see which one you want to overtake or uh, find a little sweet spot to kind of make the right amount of noise or if you want to be just purely textural. Uh, now, one of my favorite options now on here is the Gliss. Basically, if you're doing like full chord drones and you kind of switch um, all around, it's really nice because it will help kind of push the notes into each other it's just again another textural thing that ehx is offering now let's talk about the speed function so it kind of has more as many hats in the three functions that are inside uh this deep freeze now we're on the green mode that is the latch uh, option so in this case the speed button will also showcase how many layers you can stack for example i'm just playing low e and just kind of stack a lot of things together right now it's at 12 o'clock There you go. So now that's what's really cool is that you can like totally make some way cool layers of of chords and drones and just really big wall sound, especially if you team it up some really cool reverbs, delays, and modulations. So the possibilities are endless on this one. Now, if we switch it to the second option, which will be orange. That's what going to trigger the momentary option. So now that we're momentary, the speed option now will dictate kind of how long it's going to hold on to the chord. Uh, it's really good if you want as a sharp ending when you change between chords, uh, or if you want it just to tail off a little bit at the end. Now keeping it at 12 o'clock, as you will see here, it instantly will kill it. Now if you want just a little bit longer of a tail, let's crank it all the way. Let it die off a little bit. So there you go. Uh, now let's go to the last option, which is an auto. 
All right, now in auto, uh, this one's uh, the speed option does still dictate kind of the decay, but it kind of has this really cool like slapback sound, like hall reverb -y tone to it. So. And of course, if you want to get ultimate space, we can crank it up. But I'll let you guys do that when you guys come here and play it yourself. This will be a great addition to your board for soundscaping, droning, and overall just trying to sound way bigger as a guitar player. So thanks again, and thank you for watching.